challenging. We're really excited to be a part of this 12-day challenge, so we hope you enjoy it. I'm Michael Zapatelli, owner of Hands On Health Center. And I'm Krista Carreri, owner of Target Personal Training, which is now operating out of Hands On Health Center. And as Krista said, we're very excited to provide you with our contribution to Kasha's 12-day challenge. So, what the challenge is today, we're trying to keep it in the spirit of Christmas. We have 12 exercises, and we want you to do 25 repetitions of each exercise, okay? So, we're going to start off with our push-ups. Face down, you want to make sure you're on your hands and on your feet. You want to make sure that your thighs, chest, and chin get as close to that floor as possible, keeping your body as pencil straight as possible. So, you can drop yourself down to the floor, push yourself up. Try to complete a full range of motion in each repetition. And of course, the modified version, I want you on your knees, toes on the floor, and keeping your body straight as well, coming right down to the floor and back up. Okay, next we are doing prison squats. So prison squats, Michael's going to have his hands linked, fingers linked, hands behind the head, um, feet about just a bit wider than shoulders apart, and he's going to drop down to a squat as low as he possibly can. Next, we're going to move to the kettlebell swing. Grab the kettlebell at the top with two hands. You're going to do a full squat, reaching that kettlebell as close to the floor as possible. You're going to use your legs and your upper body to thrust this kettlebell straight up in the air overhead. And of course, for those of you who don't have a kettlebell, I'm just using a regular dumbbell. Okay? Next, burpees. Everyone loves burpees. So, he's going to do the super burpee. Um, which is jumping right up in the air, down to the floor, legs go out, and you're going into a push-up, okay? For those of you who may not be able to do this right away, no excuses. You start somewhere. You can obviously jump, I hope, down to the floor with your hands, jump out, jump in, okay? And repeat 25 times, of course. So we're moving on to the pull-ups. So you're going to find yourself in a position with an overhead bar, grabbing two hands, pulling your body, up to that bar for as many repetitions as possible until you reach your 25 repetitions. Again, your goal is to reach your 25 repetitions. If you do have to take a little break in between, do so, but make sure you complete the full 25 reps. Or the equalizer bars, and you're just going to sit down right in front, pull onto these equalizer bars, my feet are on the floor as that support, and pull your body straight up. Keep in mind, just like in the push ups, Chris's body is pencil straight. Next, we are doing lunges. The challenge that I have for you for these lunges, we're going to take um, your right leg, we'll start with the right leg, you're going to lunge forward into a forward lunge, be like so, and then you're going to take that same right leg and go right back, bending right down to the floor, okay, into another lunge, and then you're going to repeat. That's one, two, three, and so on, and then what you're going to do is switch to your left, okay, so 25 of each. Next up, we have deadlifts. If you have two dumbbells available to you, stand with your feet just slightly wider than hip width apart, toes pointed outwards. You are going to lower these dumbbells with your chest up in the air and butt heading out towards the ground as slowly as possible and standing straight up. Inhaling on the way down, exhaling on the way up. Next, um, next challenge is the lunge jump, okay? So I'm gonna to try to show this to you from the side so you can see. Um, you're going to go into a lunge, all right, and then you're going to jump, switch, both t both feet together into your next lunge. So Michael can kind of describe this as I'm doing it. So see how both feet are switching at the same time. You want to avoid getting into a situation where you're doing step-step lunge. Like that. Okay? If this is too difficult to get into each lunge into the depth that we want you to get into, switch to a modified version where you're doing almost like this cross skier type style jump. Next, we're moving into a little bit more of a difficult and extreme challenge part of the workout is the shoulder handstand push-up. I'm going to be placing my hands just about shoulder width, slightly wider than shoulder width apart onto the floor. If you have a partner to assist you with this and throw your legs up to the floor, you're going to get yourself into a handstand and try to do as many presses as possible. So as you can see, what Michael's doing is placing his hands on the front, getting into his um, handstand, and doing his handstand push-ups <laughs> for myself. I'm going to show you the modified version. Okay. I'm facing away from the wall, okay? I'm going to place my hands on the floor so I'm much farther away, which is less than five from your shoulders. Placing my hands on the floor, I'm going to take my foot, come up where I'm comfortable on the wall, and I'm just going to hold it here. That's it. And next, 
next we're doing box jumps. Again, if you're in your home, then um, you can use your stairs. Right now, I'm just going to show you the bench. So bench in front feet, squatting down, jumping up, both feet, back down, jump up, back down. Okay, next we have clean thrusters. You're going to drop down, full deadlift, throw them up to your shoulders, squatting again, pressing straight overhead. Repeat that for 25 reps. And for our last one, uh, we have double unders. Okay, so. My so, so you're doing your skipping, again, your modifications can be a single rep for 25 reps. If you can do a double under, repeat that for 25 times. Or if you have the ability to do so, continue 25 double unders consecutively for 25 reps. And that concludes our workout challenge of the day. So thank you so much, Kasha, for having us part of it. And we hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a happy holiday season. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Ciao.